What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Red Thorns Gaming. You know the game in front of you. Lineage 2 Revolution on your screen this evening. I've got Fortress Siege, number 46 in the series. I've seen a Harden buff going off, unlike the, the previous time where it went off super late. This one is going off with about, let's see, I think the, it'll be about three minutes before, before it, uh, the beginning of the battle. Let's get into it. The two individuals that are fighting this evening, Ataraxi versus Korean Legacy. Korean Legacy here at number two, 264,411,577 combat power in totality for their clan. Ataraxi, not in the top four, but at number five with 260,051,488 combat power in totality for their clan. I'm looking at less than 4 million difference between the two. That's absolutely nothing in a fight like this. Let's see what, uh, what was paid. This is for an S-grade fortress, and Korean Legacy continues their lucky streak of having paid absolutely nothing for a fortress. 500,000 a den of flat for an S-grade fortress. That is outstanding for Korean Legacy once again. Let's head into the battlefield. Interesting thing to note, I haven't deleted my game in about a month, and I still don't see a bug here. Maybe they finally fixed it. That would be phenomenal. However, everyone's waiting on a hardened buff. We got 3 minutes and 21 seconds, and I will be back at a minute and a half to try to introduce the teams and their leaders. And we're back with a minute and a half remaining, and no Ataraxi has shown up yet. Okay, now they're starting to show up. Interesting thing to note, the red dots down there, Korean Legacy. There was a few members in before that Harden buff uh, went off. I hope that doesn't bite him in the butt. We are waiting on Ataraxi's leader to come in, assuming that this is a real battle. Ataraxi, part of the V3 Way Alliance. Korean Legacy, part of the Kings of Stars. And they are now just coming in. Ataraxi, I should be saying. Korean Legacy looks like they're ready to go. Ataraxi in the blue on the top. The defenders. Hey, shout out to Jerry. 30 seconds. 30 seconds. Good luck to Ataraxi, who may or may not show up. Korean Legacy in the red on the bottom. The attackers. There's their leader. It's a Korean name. 10 seconds before we begin. I don't think this is a real fight. Well, they just came in super late. Here we go! Fortress Siege, number 46, Ataraxi versus Korean Legacy. Ataraxi has not finally decided to show up. Saw Korean Legacy's uh, leader's name. It's in Korean. I obviously can't read that. Korean Legacy going for both. Failed on Ataraxi's. Still going on their own. Over halfway on their own. Three seconds, two seconds, one second, 10% buff. The next three minutes for Korean Legacy. I wonder if Korean Legacy attempted to, to do to Ataraxi that was done to them when they fought Red Devils. But I don't think that's true, considering that there was plenty of time for that hardened buff to go off before this battle began. Ataraxi over halfway on their own imprint. Ataraxi, 10% buff for the next three minutes. We are tied for the next two minutes and 18 seconds. Let's see how this plays out. I've got a defensive tower going down. And over here, the non-spawn gate of Ataraxi. Towers untouched. Well, I was... Wow, that went down a lot. As soon as I said untouched. And there goes one defense tower for the non-spawn gate of Ataraxi. With Johnny Feller being the leader of Ataraxi.
over here that announced Swan Gate is free and legacy. Tower is still standing. But not much longer. The tower is gone. This tower is over half dead. And there goes the non-spawn gate of Korean Legacy. The red team's defense tower has been destroyed. The blue team's gate has been destroyed. And there goes the non-spawn gate the of Ataraxy. Has been destroyed. Korean Legacy. 30 seconds remaining on their 10% buff. Green Legacy holding Ataraxy at the choke point here. There goes the 10% buff for Korean Legacy. Big battle around Korean Legacy's altar imprint. Korean Legacy finally trying to get it. Ataraxy, 17 seconds remaining on their own. KL interrupted. Going for their own and going for KLs. Interrupted on both. Ataraxy with a slight lead in the kill death department. That is a lot of time that Ataraxy just got. Ataraxy interrupted it on their own. KL trying to go for theirs. Interrupted. Ataraxy trying again for their own. Massive battle going on in the center right now. KL interrupted. Ataraxy interrupted with about a second to go. Both teams interrupted again. Green Legacy is here in force and they are unable to get their own altar imprint. They are trying again. Up here are Ataraxes. Ataraxes trying for theirs. Korean Legacy interrupted again. The blue team has started imprinting the holy there goes Johnny Feller. Both teams unable to get their altar imprint. Ataraxy. Interrupted. Wow. The blue team has started there goes Johnny Teller again. He's just getting a ton of time. He doesn't even care. He got it down to 10 seconds. I mean, they must be 30 seconds ahead right now or more. Ataraxy. Two seconds, one second, 10% buff in the next three minutes. Finally, that doesn't bode well for Korean Legacy. The blue team has started imprinting the holy artifact. The blue team. 
team has failed to imprint the holy artifact. Green Legacy loses this, that it will be three losses in a row for them. Unbelievable with these crashes. Unbelievable with these crashes. There's too many crashes. I'm not shocked at that at that happening though. If this fight drags on, we're gonna crash more, I guarantee it. Ataraxi, three seconds, two seconds, one second, 30% buff for the next 45 seconds. Green Legacy, finally getting on the board with Holy Artifact imprint time. Maybe I should have deleted it and reinstalled the game. I'll probably do that after this battle. A little late to be doing it now. Nothing going on there. Let's head the into the base. The blue team has started imprinting the holy artifact. The blue team has failed to imprint the holy artifact. The blue team has started imprinting the holy artifact. Johnny Feller's the just walking right in there. The holy artifact. This holy artifact defense tower is about to bite it. Anoraxi. Two seconds, one second, 30% buff in the next minute and a half. We are over one third of the way through this battle. much going on there. A lot of blue around here. And we're actually starting to pull away in the kill department. Here comes Ataraxi. That's a lot of blue there. Slowly pushing their way forward. The blue team has started imprinting the holy artifact. The blue team has failed to imprint the holy artifact. And there goes one holy artifact defense tower of Korean Legacy.
17 minutes remaining in this battle. I feel like a crash is imminent. They are just absolutely dominating Korean Legacy in Holy Artifact imprint time right now. The blue team has failed to imprint the Holy Artifact. This battle may go to dis the distance, the blue team but Korean Legacy has a very large deficit to catch up. I just don't see it happening. The blue team has failed to imprint the Holy uh, he's just getting 5 to 10 seconds with each attempt. I are actually having some trouble getting their buffs back. And are actually interrupted. Green Legacy still going. Green Legacy three seconds. Oh, interrupted. The defense wasn't there. Both teams, neck and neck. Hunter actually interrupted though. Green Legacy still going, interrupted. The blue team. We are halfway through this battle. Johnny Feller at it again. Ten, nine, eight, the altar of seven has been Six seconds. He got it down to five seconds. He's back at it again. I simply don't see Korean Legacy being able to overcome the deficit they are in right now. Ender actually has a 10% buff in the next two and a half minutes, by the way. I don't even think Korean Legacy has done any damage to the Holy Artifact Defense Towers of Adoraxi. Okay, they've done a little bit of damage. That's... Not a whole heck of a lot. <laughs> they are trying to get that 30% buff. Legacy trying for their own altar imprint interrupted. It's about time for that second crash. Uh, we might have a couple of minutes. The blue team has started imprinting the holy artifact. The blue team has started the holy artifact. Okay, nothing ha happening there. Adaraxi, 20 seconds remaining in their 10% buff. Interrupted on trying to get that 30% for a very short amount of time. 
Five minutes remaining in this battle. Wait for the next crash. It should be coming soon. Anorax's 10% buff has expired. And they've been interrupted on Korean Legacy's Alter Imprint. Or Alter. Anorax are getting their own, though. Uncontested. Two seconds. One second. 10% buff for the next three minutes. I mean, Legacy over halfway. Ah, uh, three seconds. Two. Se oh, interrupted. Johnny Feller getting more time. Adavaxi taking commanding lead in the kill department. And we're back from our second crash of the evening. Looks like Adorexy got that 30% buff. The blue team has started imprinting the holy artifact. The red team's defense tower has been destroyed. The blue team and there goes the final holy artifact defense tower of Korean Legacy. Ten minutes remaining. We are two-thirds of the way through this battle. We've already had two crashes. And Adaraxi must be at least a hundred or more seconds ahead at this point in Holy Artifact imprint time. Green Legacy is not giving up, though. These two defense towers are about to bite it. There goes one. I've noticed that these crashes have happened at the exact same time as the last video where the crashes happened. I've also noticed that Korean Legacy was involved in both those fights. There goes the spawn gate of Korean Legacy. Korean Legacy, completely unprotected, but refusing to back down. 30% buff for the next 27 seconds for Ataraxy. Okay, nothing going on here. Let's go over to the non-spawn gate of Korean Legacy. The altar of wind has been reset. The blue team's defense tower has been destroyed. Oh, a holy artifact defense tower of Anoraxi has finally been taken down. Who is that? They're just running around messing with the people up there. The that was kind of funny. Johnny Feller, trying to end this battle. Doesn't look like they're going to be... Well, somebody took out that person. Ten, nine, eight, eight seconds remaining. Seven, Six seconds before Adoraxi wins this battle. Four, three, the blue Two seconds. Oh, got it down to three seconds that time. The blue team has started Let's try again. Unable to do anything. Got it to 15 the seconds. Thirty percent buff for the next one minute and fourteen seconds. 
for Ataraxi. Ataraxi almost had it. We need to hurry up. We got about four minutes before the next crash. And they're actually coming from both sides. Playing a little open siege there. Here comes Johnny Feller. Got it to nine seconds. Trying again. Eight seconds, all alone. Oh, here comes some people to try to interrupt them. And congratulations to Adorexi for successfully defending their S grade fortress. Congratulations to the top five here on Adaraxi side and Queen of Hearts, the top one on Green Legacy side. Here are your stats. Seems like that was another Red Devils versus KL fight. It seems everything just looked like it went the same exact way. More or less. Green Legacy, three losses in a row. Bunch of dashes on their side. There are your stats. Well, there you have it. Congratulations to Adaraxi. Once again, defending their S-grade fortress. I don't believe there was anything else that was worth any kind of mention. I don't, yeah, I think that was the only real fight. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video. And hit me up on Discord or Twitter. Thanks so much for watching, and I will see you again.